My name is Tony Knapp, President and Director of the Bermuda Institute of Ocean Sciences. I'm also the Principal Investigator of BATS, which is the Bermuda Atlantic Time Series Study. This was established in 1988 to uncover mysteries of the deep by analyzing important hydrographic and biological parameters throughout the water column. Pursuing this goal has enabled the BATS scientists and oceanographers worldwide to completely revise their perspective on the ocean's physical, chemical, and biological processes. BATS provides a record of ocean observations spanning three decades, a continuous data set that's central to our understanding of long-term processes such as climate change. The CTD, or Conductivity Temperature and Depth Recorder, is housed in a rosette which is surrounded by bottles and these bottles are used to collect water as the CTD and rosette are dropped into the deep ocean. And we study the ocean down to 4,800 meters each time we go to bats. So far, 2,448 separate CTD casts have been carried out over the past 20 years. At least 8,700 samples for nutrients, dissolved oxygen, salinity, etc. have been collected. At least 28,800 liters of seawater have been filtered for particulate analysis. It takes a long time. And at least 3.8 solid years at sea over that time have been spent on station as bats. And at least 25,500 miles traveled out to the bat site and back, and also on some of our other uh, sites around the Sargasso Sea, which is really once around the world at the equator. The plankton tow that we use a large net each time during bats allows us to determine what organisms are there at various times of the year and so we can see a change of how the ocean is changing over time by these little phytoplankton and zooplankton that end up being the food for fish. Once we get on shore, samples that have been collected on the ship are used for many and analyzed in many ways. One of the uh, main instruments that we have at BIOS is a particle imaging uh, flow cytometer, which allows us to actually measure about 60,000 cells per second of phytoplankton that exist in the ocean. We can then take that information, uh, screen each sample, collect each sample, look at the DNA of those organisms and really give us a better idea was of which organisms turned up at various times during the year, month, or hour. And this gives us a whole new insight into these organisms that account for 50% of the total photosynthesis of the globe each year. This actually is producing the oxygen that we breathe. One of the most important aspects of the data set that exists at BATS is the changing of dissolved carbon dioxide in the surface of the ocean over the last uh, 20 years. And it actually shows an increase in carbon dioxide. And with that, we see a change also in the pH of the ocean. It's incredibly important because it actually changes the, the chemistry of the ocean and then the ability for corals and other organisms that put on carbonate in the ocean to grow. This is where we see one of the real important contributions of BATS on our Ocean Time series to coastal programs worldwide. This database is the longest in the world and is showing us without a doubt that CO2 is going up in the ocean and making the ocean more acidic.